You know that One Direction thing? It's getting ridiculous. Hello ladies, gentlemen, and any variations thereupon. It is my holidays, and the fabled boy band One Direction is currently in New Zealand. Hence the reason that a good majority of the country, well, a good majority of the teenage girls in my country, are on complete fangirl highs at the moment. Myself, not so much. On the other hand though, today, for your viewing pleasure, I have an interview with one of those not quite so mental fans. Just so you can see what my mental country is like at the present time. Onwards. Hello everyone! <laughs> so today I've been invited by the fabulous Emma to talk on her YouTube channel. You see, I love the band One Direction and they're like totally in my country, New Zealand, at the moment. So, Emma wanted to interview me about them and me or something like that. So, um, Brittany, why do you like <sighs> One Direction. Well, why do you think I mean their music is so sweet? And they're here. Oh my god, they're here. And their faces. And they're here. They're here. Oi! Thank you. Now. How are you feeling about the fact that they're in New Zealand? <laughs> it's like so awesome. I mean, it means I might get to meet like Zane or any of them, really. <laughs> so, are you going to one of their concerts no. soon? Then, how are you going to meet them? You do live in a small, <laughs> sunny town that ha they're no pasty I, white I don't know. you're going to want to go to. <laughs> I want to meet them! Okay, we'll leave it there, shall we? Um, I was talking to Brittany of Brittany Speaks. I won't be in touch. people she is a clear example of a One Direction fangirl and she's not quite as mental as most which is a terrifying thought to be honest look I have nothing against One Direction I'm not really a fan of their music and their clothes but I have nothing against them as people they're just people in the world the thing I have against them is their fans are nuts oh my god for example, I was on Facebook, like you are, browsing down the page mindlessly. Then I just see several thousand posts from a couple of my Facebook friends, which are all like, OMG, One Direction is in my country. And it's just like, I can't meet them, which is so sad because I've got no money and I live in a small town. <sighs> or it's like, oh my god, I'm going to the One Direction concert, I'm so going to meet them, I'm going to fall in love with them, and oh... Just like, get a life! Oh my god, isn't there better things you could be doing? Like going outside, spending the last day of your holidays doing something interesting with your friends rather than fangirling on Facebook? <sighs> Another thing that I don't like about their fans is stuff like this. Yeah, guys, this is real. And not good. It's not acceptable. Not at all acceptable to write stuff like that. I don't care if you're joking. It's not acceptable. There are people who have had this done to them. And yeah, they're totally going to think it's a joke. God, guys, learn some restraint or some tact. Jeez. Or I have nothing against fangirling. Be a fangirl. 
but be reasonable. They're just people in the world. The worst thing you guys are going to do is scare them off and make sure they don't come back. Which, in the scheme of things, could be good. Because it means I won't have to meet any mental fangirls. I have nothing against fangirls. But tone it down. Don't be weird. Thank you.